there are so many Linux distributions out there that it's so confusing for people who are thinking to migrate from Windows to Linux. In today's video, I'm gonna compare two highly regarded gaming distributions to Windows 11. Nobara 42, a Fedora-based distribution, and Cache OS, an Arch-based distro, and see which one is better on AMD GPUs when gaming. I'm curious though, those of you who watch this video, what operating system are you using? Let me know in the comment sections of this video. Both distros at the time of testing were updated to their latest kernel versions and MESA display drivers. On Cache OS, I use the Praten and Wine versions that comes with the distribution's gaming package, while on Nobara, I used Wine and Praten GE, which is maintained by the same person that is behind the Nobara project, Glorious Eggroll. On Nobara, I also made sure that the game mode was set up properly and that it works. Keep in mind that FSR4 was enabled on all operating systems. I will cover raster and ray tracing at 1440p and 4K, but no path tracing this time around. The full system configuration can be seen in the video description. Before we move forward, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, OBS Bot. For those that don't know OBS Bot or didn't hear about it, like me, it is the official webcam provider for EWC, that is the Esports World Cup and Pro Teams. I'm gonna present the new Meet SE, a compact web camera that comes in three colors, Aurora Green, Cloud White and Space Gray. The latter is the color that I have. It comes in a compact package that contains the camera, the USB-C to USB-A adapter, the USB-C cable and the magnetic mount alongside some documentation. And this is how the space grey color looks. It has a small footprint, meaning that it doesn't stand out awkward on your setup. It can be paired with desktop computers that don't have video cameras or mini PCs. With that said, as it connects through the USB port, you can use it on laptops as well. It is easy to use and set up. You just need to connect it to your personal computer through the USB port and you are set. The magnetic mount is versatile as it allows you to install it on desktop monitors without any issue. I didn't need any drivers to be able to use it in Windows 11 and it worked out of the box on OBS. It is amazing how many features this compact camera contains. It comes with some neat AI features that work in OBS as well. You can lock or unlock the target with a hand gesture, zoom in or out with a two fingers gesture. It is capable of recording 1080p up to 100 fps, which is more than you will ever need from a webcam. It has good low light capabilities, making it a viable option for streamers that show their face on the camera or for meetings where you don't have good lightning, like those who work from home for example. On the screen now you have the link to the product specification if you wish to find out more. First, let's start with the raster side by side comparisons. In Counter-Strike 2, I only tested at 1440p, as not so many will be using 4K. Keep in mind that CS2 runs native in Linux, it doesn't need any translation layer. Even so, Windows has a performance advantage over both Linux distributions, amounting to around 17% better averages. Nobara 42 was a bit behind Cache OS in averages, but had better 1% low values. The Last of Us Part 2 is another game where, at 1440p, Windows has a minor performance advantage. Both Linux distributions deliver similar results. Nothing changes when we move to 4K. Windows is ahead of the two Linux distributions by around 6%. Witcher 3 is a game that I tested on Linux with Wine, as Praten produced a lower frame rates. At 1440p, Windows has a 13% performance lead over both Linux distributions, while Nobara 42 is a bit behind in the 1% low category. Windows performance lead increases when we move to 4K, amounting to 26% more performance. It manages to deliver better 1% low values than the averages that both distros manage to obtain. Clear Obscure is, yet again, another game where Windows has a small lead. At 1440p, it is ahead of the two Linux distributions by 7%, but the 1% low values are a bit better on Linux. 
Increasing the resolution to 4K doesn't change the fact that Windows still performs better, but the advantage is really small. Master Hunter Wild is a game that runs well on cache OS as it manages to be 2 frames per second behind Windows, while Nobara 42 delivers 5% less FPS than cache OS. At 4K, the tables are turned, with Nobara delivering a bit better averages when compared to cache OS, but still lags Windows 11. Nobara did win in the 1% low values though, beating the two operating systems. Stalker 2 is a game that uses Lumen, a software-based ray tracing technique. In this game, at 1440p, Windows delivers better averages, but loses it to both Linux distribution in the 1% low compartment. Things change a bit at 4K, with Windows managing better performance across the board. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is a game where Linux performs better than Windows, at least on AMD GPUs. Cache OS takes the lead in this one. The averages are close to what Nobara can master, but the 1% low values are better than both other operating systems. At 4K, both Linux distributions are tied, with Nobara edging cache OS, while Windows is lagging in the 1% low category. Stellar Blade is another game where Linux was a bit ahead of Linux, not sure why though. At 1440p, cache OS shines. It delivers the best 1% low values, while the averages are matched only by Nobara 42, with Windows 11 falling behind. Things change when moving to 4K. Windows 11 catches up to both Linux distributions in averages, while delivering better 1% low values as well. In Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, at 1440p, all three operating systems deliver similar results, with Cache OS lagging a bit behind Nobara in the 1% low value category, but to an insignificant percentage. Increasing the resolution to 4K sees again Nobara delivering a bit better 1% low values when compared to Cache OS, while the averages are the same. Now, let's move to the raster charts. As we can see, at 1440p, Windows 11 had three clear wins. In Counter-Strike 2, The Last of Us Part 2 and Witcher 3. Looking at Stalker 2, Clear Up Score, Master Hunter Wilds and Marvel Rivals, Windows edged the other operating systems, but not by much. Both Linux distributions were ahead in Sterile Blade and Spider-Man 2. Looking at all games tested in this chart, it seems that Windows is a bit better than both Linux distributions. Here is the chart with the averages obtained across all games tested at 1440p and Windows is ahead, as expected, while Cache OS was second closely followed by Nobara 42. The same positions are kept when analyzing the 1% low values. Windows 11 was first followed by Cache OS and then Nobara 42. Let's now move to the 4K charts. At 4K, we can see that Counter-Strike 2 and Marvel Rivals have disappeared from this chart. Either way, Windows 11 has more wins than both Linux distributions. This can be underlined better when looking at the overall averages obtained across all games tested, with Windows placing first with the other two operating systems finishing in a tie. With that said, at 4K, the 1% low averages obtained across the games tested are more or less the same, but technically, Windows placed first with Nobara 2nd and Cache OS 3rd. Let's now move to ray tracing side by side comparisons. First, I will start with Silent Hill 2, an Unreal 5 engine game. At 1440p, Windows has a clear advantage of around 60% better averages when compared to Nobara, while Cache OS was 3rd. At 4K, Windows 11 still leads, but now the two Linux distributions deliver the same averages. Nobara has the edge when it comes to the 1% low values, but the advantage is slim. This time around, I disabled Path Trace in Doom The Dark Ages, and at 1440p we can see that Windows still manages to deliver a clear win, while both Linux distributions were producing the same averages, but the 1% low values are a bit better on Nobara when compared to Cache OS. The same can be observed when moving to 4K. Windows 11 leads, followed by Cache OS and Nobara 42. Let's now move to Metro Exodus. I tested this game only with ray tracing, and at 1440p, Windows placed first with Cache OS delivering a bit better 1% low values while being tied on averages with Nobara. 
At 4K, nothing changes, the same performance delta is maintained. Witcher 3 is tested with Wild in Linux, and it seems that both Linux distributions lag Windows in averages and 1% low values. Nobara was a bit ahead in the 1% low compartment while CacheOS in averages. At 4K though, CacheOS has a minor advantage both in 1% low values and averages over Nobara, but it still trails Windows 11. The last game that I tested with ray tracing is Cyberpunk 2077. At 1440p, Windows is simply better. While both distros delivered similar averages, but Cache OS edged a bit Nobara in the 1% low values. At 4K, the tables are turned, with Nobara edging Cache OS in the 1% low compartment while trailing Cache OS in averages, though Windows 11 is still the clear winner. Now, this is the 1440p chart with the ray tracing games. Windows is the clear winner, delivering way better results than both Linux distros. With that said, Nobara 42 edged Cache OS in Silent Hill 2, but then again, that is a 2 frames per second advantage. As we can see from this chart, on average, Nobara plays second just edging Cache OS, while Windows 11 has a big advantage. The tables are turned at 4K, with Cache OS delivering marginal wins over Nobara 42 while still trailing Windows. With that said, the differences are small and both Linux distributions are way behind Windows when ray tracing is in the mix. Now, which one is better? I would say that both are great distros, and if you are choosing one over the other, it should be on personal preferences, not performance. With that said, I prefer Arch-based distros and I would go with Cache OS over Nobara 42. Nobara is the distro that I main for more than 6 months and is the reason why I left Ubuntu. Now, I prefer Arch-based distros because of the Arch wiki, which I find it very easy to understand and to use. Cache OS has its own wiki page, which is very good as well. If you are using Nobara, there is no reason for you to move to Cache OS, as you will not see any performance gains. Nobara is still an amazing distro. Even with all the optimizations that Cache OS is advertised with, it seems that Nobara can match it quite well. And this applies to most distros, as the performance difference between most distributions out there are insignificant, as long as you are on the same GPU driver and kernel version. And that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below and let me know what operating system are you using. Take care and hope to see you all in the next one.